we are into the discussion on the topic cycloidal curves under cycloidal curves we are going to construct hypocycloid this is the eighth solved problem we are discussing under cycloidal curves now we are entering into the problem the problem which we are discussing now is a end semester examination problem and it was asked in the year 2023 in this paper we are going to discuss now second question the given problem is a circle of 50 mm diameter rolls on the circumference of another circle of 180 mm diameter and inside it trace the locus of a point p on the circumference of the rolling circle for one complete revolution name the curve draw a tangent and normal to the curve at a point 50 mm from the center of the directing circle now we'll analyze and extract the data from this problem before analyzing and extracting the data from the given problem we'll read the problem once again the given problem is a circle of 50 mm diameter rolls on the circumference of another circle of 180 mm diameter and inside it trace the locus of a point p on the circumference of the rolling circle for one complete revolution name the curve draw a tangent and normal to the curve at a point 50 mm from the center of the directing circle this is the directing circle of diameter 180 mm o is the center of the directing circle this is the rolling circle and its diameter is 50 mm point p is on the circumference of the rolling circle this rolling circle rolls on the circumference of the directing circle for one complete revolution inside it with that point p moves to p dash the main important point we need to observe here is this rolling circle rolls on the circumference of the directing circle for one complete revolution inside it the path traced out by a point p on the circumference of the rolling circle is going to be a hypocycloid now we'll write the data here the name of the curve to be constructed is hypocycloid the diameter of the directing circle that is capital d is equal to 180 mm the radius of the directing circle that is capital r is equal to 90 mm the diameter of the rolling circle is also called as generating circle that is small d is equal to 50 mm the radius of the rolling circle that is small r is equal to 25 mm the angle subtracted by the arc p p dash at center o is to be calculated by using the formula small r by capital r into 360 degrees here small r is equal to 25 mm capital r is equal to 90 mm after substituting these values in this equation then angle subtracted by the arc p p dash at center o is equal to 25 by 90 into 360 degrees after simplifying this we will get angle subtracted by the arc p p dash at center o is equal to 100 degrees in addition to this data other data also supplied in the problem that is draw a tangent and normal to the curve at a point 50 mm from the center of the directing circle here the curve is to be hypocycloid based on these inputs we'll start the construction of hypocycloid based on the data we are into the construction of hypocycloid here the radius of the directing circle is given as 90 mm and the radius of the generating circle is given as 25 mm as a first step draw reference line on reference line locate the center of the directing circle and name it as o draw a line op and op is the radius of the directing circle which is equal to 90 mm with o as a center op as radius draw part of the directing circle locate a point p dash on the directing circle such that the angle subtracted by the arc p p dash at center o is 100 degrees here we are drawing hypocycloid that means the rolling circle rolls inside of the directing circle then take rolling circle radius say 
ट्वेंटी फाइव एम एम विथ पी एज ए सेंटर ट्वेंटी फाइव एम एम एज ए रेडियस लोकेट ए पॉइंट सी ऑन दी ओ पी लाइन आफ्टर दट सी पी एज रेडियस सी एज ए सेंटर ड्रा रोलिंग सर्कल divide the circumference of this rolling circle into 12 equal parts here the angle separated by the circle is 360 degrees we are dividing circumference of the rolling circle into 12 parts each part angle becomes 30 degrees with protractor we will divide the rolling circle into 12 equal parts each part angle becomes 30 degrees Here, one, two, three, four, etc. are the division points on the rolling circle, and this rolling circle rolls in anti-clockwise direction inside the directing circle. Point P be the generating point on the rolling circle. For one complete revolution of the rolling circle inside the directing circle, point P moves to P dash. The angle subtracted by the arc P P dash at center O is. 100 degrees we need to divide the arc pp dash into 12 equal parts divide 100 degrees into 12 parts each part angle becomes 8.33 degrees measuring 8.33 degrees directly with protractor is not possible so we have to use Trial and error method for dividing the arc P P dash into twelve equal parts. As a first step under this trial and error method, divide arc P P dash into two equal parts. The total angle subtracted by the arc P P dash at center O is hundred degrees. We are dividing arc P P dash at center O into two equal parts so that each part angle becomes fifty degrees. First, we will divide the arc P6 into six equal parts by trial and error method. Based on these divisions, we will divide arc 6P dash also into six equal parts. Under the trial and error method, take angle between eight to nine degrees with the help of protractor. Then draw a line from center O to the directing arc. Take this radius, that is the angle between eight to nine degrees. Draw an arc on P6 arc. This is first one. This is second, third, fourth, fifth, and it is going outside. So we need to reduce the radius little bit. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Again, it is not touching sixth division on P P dash arc. That means we need to increase little bit radius. One, two, three, four, five. Six. So number these divisions. Based on these divisions, we'll divide the arc six p dash also into six equal parts. Then join the division points on the directing arc to the center of the directing circle. Join center of the directing circle, say O, to the first division point on the 
directing arc join O2 two points similarly join remaining points on the directing arc to the center of the directing circle here we divided the arc pp dash into 12 equal parts by trial and error method next step is with o as a center o1 as well as o11 as a radius draw an arc parallel to the directing arc with o10 as well as o2 as radius draw an arc parallel to the directing arc and this arc meets the op dash line similarly with o3 o4 o5 and o6 as radius draw arcs parallel to the directing arc after that with oc as radius o as a center draw locus of path center arc and this arc intersect the op dash line at d now number the division points on the locus of path center arc cd say c1 c2 c3 etc then take cp as a radius c1 as a center draw an arc on the first division arc with that you will get point p1 with c2 as a center with the same radius draw an arc on the second division arc with that you will get point p2 similarly repeat the procedure with the same radius with centers as c3 c4 c5 etc in order to generate the points say p3 p4 p5 etc then passing through p p1 p2 p3 p4 etc draw smooth curve while drawing the smooth curve we have to hold the pencil some distance from the tip of the pencil and also we should not hold tightly we have to hold the pencil freely so that we can draw free hand curves easily this is the required hypocyclical curve so we need to dark this curve with h pencil with a darkness of 100% next step is drawing normal and tangent to the hypocycloid at a distance 50 mm from the center of the directing circle so with o as a center 50 mm as a radius draw an arc on the hypocycloid and name the intersection point on the hypocycloid as m then with m as a center cp that is rolling circle radius as a radius draw an arc on the locus of path center arc and name the intersection point on the locus of path center arc as q join oq and extend it further towards the arc pp dash here n is the intersection point of oq extended line with the pp dash directing arc then 
join the point say n as well as m and extend it further then that line becomes the normal perpendicular to the normal passing through the m point will draw tangent related to the pencil uses the hypocycladal curve normal and tangent are with h pencil with a darkness of 100% whereas this construction lines and this construction arcs are with 3h pencil with a darkness of 25% then we'll do the dimensioning the diameter of the generating circle is 50 mm the radius of the directing circle is 90 mm the tangent point on the hypocycloid is at a distance 50 mm from the center of the directing circle here all the dimensions are in millimeters the angle subtended by the arc p p dash at center o is 100 degrees dividing the p p dash arc into 12 equal parts directly with protractor is not possible with that we used trial and error method for dividing the arc p p dash into 12 equal parts this particular problem is very very important and it was asked many times under n semester examinations with that i am advising you to practice the construction procedural methodology from beginning to the ending with perfection that's about the solution for the given problem